Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner and welcome to this tutorial on Laravel. Um, right here on, on this page is uh, DavePartner.com. Don't forget that if you have any issues to come here and uh, post them. Alright, um, in this tutorial, for us to really advance in this Laravel tutorial, we need to look at uh, more more um, deeper concepts like how do you connect your Laravel app to the web to your database right here I'm looking I'm using WAMP server now you could be using any um, any database engine or database management system okay but I'm using WAMP server and uh, I'm using PHP my admin okay now when you when you visit look start your WAMP server on your system then you visit localhost and hit enter remember in the beginning of this video tutorial in the first video we downloaded one server now during the installation it will ask you what password do you you will use um, uh, if you just set it at default if you didn't set the password your username will be by default root and then there will be no password okay so uh, when you visit localhost as long as your one server is started and running on your system uh, well, to start your WAMP server, you come to your Windows, then you tap WAMP server, and uh, you have it here, you click it, when it starts, nothing happens, the only thing you see, you will notice is that right here at the bottom, you will have uh, this icon, so you can now click this icon and hit on localhost, or you go directly to this place, uh, your browser, and type on localhost, make sure that your icon right here is green. This guy must be green in color. If it's not green, then your web server is not started completely or correctly. Okay, so uh, when we hit on go, it will, it will open the database management system. And uh, right here, we can uh, observe that I have some created some dummy databases. So you have to create one for any projects you're working on that deserves a database. So right here, I'll create one for our Laravel testing app. I will call it Lara Vel uh, tests. Laravel testing. I'll copy it. And I'll create click create. So what happens is that this creates a database for you. So we'll create some dummy users. Look at what it created database. So you click on a database and create a table. Let's call this uh, customers table or post table. Uh, we'll call it post table. And the post table will have four columns and then in the column we'll pan to the right and click go so this automatically creates a column for us so if you're observant uh using any other database engine you should of course know how to create a a table there so right here i will say that our column makes use of an id and uh it's a post so the post will have a title and uh, it will have a body then we have to have a time created that all right uh depending on whatever uh, else you want to put this id will be an integer and it will be 11 maximum and this title will be a variable character what what is happening this guy will be a variable character and let's say it will be 255 maximum and then this body will be a text it can be any number so we'll leave it empty this is created at which is a time date time so we um, select a date time then uh, it doesn't have any length then we'll come here and say that the id field which is the first one should auto increment and then of course it should be primary then we'll click ok and then that settles it for us none of them should be null uh, none of them okay let's just say maybe uh, the time should be null optionally so now we've done what we do is pan down and click on save and of course it saves it for us so we now have a, a table just one sample table in our database laravel testing we'll use it in the subsequent tutorials what we can now do to connect our laravel app to this particular guy is to go back to our laravel app we um on the root folder you will see a file called env let me just um, minimize all these things for you so you'll see on the root folder we have this guy this is a laravel uh, blog and then we have um these other files at the bottom of the, the folder then we have this env so when you click on env uh you will see that 
um, you have some default settings right inside it one of the settings you will see is the db database so we'll give it the name of our database which we called lara laravel testing so we come here and we type exactly the name of our database laravel testing and then we give it a uh, username which we saw before root and then we give it a password which is nothing uh, if you install your warm server by default this is what your your username and password would be otherwise if you changed it then you have to actually put what your password is so this way it will work and uh, which means we now have our database connected to our our to our app laravel app so this is sorted out for us the next thing uh, we need to do is to see uh, how we can run a migration on uh, on this and then we can also see how we can connect our, our posts create a post model and connect it to this right here in your folder this is where your models reside on your Laravel project this is a sample model that came with Laravel and then we can create more by just simply going to our command line and uh, we'll go to our command line we'll navigate to our folder a Laravel folder and what we can do right there is to right, hold our shift key right click and uh, click on command window here that's if you're on window, windows then you, we run a command to create a model php artisan uh, make model post so we're trying to create a file called post.php and we're using php artisan to uh to create it and we hit enter and guess what happens our model has been created successfully so if we get back to our folder uh, app folder you'll notice that we now have a posts model all right so when we can come back to this place we have post well click on it as you can see laravel has created a post model for us now the next thing we can do is to try and see if we can use this model and uh, and get some of these data that we already have in our database i will prefer to treat more on models and uh, migrations in the for the tutorials but uh, let me just quickly uh, show you something um, if you observe and you will see that there is already a user uh, model user.php uh, model and um, it's something of question why, why would it be here that's when uh, you realize some uh, uh, real power of uh, of laravel laravel came with some inbuilt um, stuff to really help you build stuff uh, quickly if you come to the database folder you will see uh, migrations then you will see that there is uh, already a migration file for user stable and there is one for password reset if we see if we look at the first one um, these things came with a uh, laravel pre-installed we will notice that there is some there are some things in the file uh, the create users model uh, create users table uh, extends the migration and right inside it we have um, two methods one is up and one is down and that of up is for creating a, a user's table in the database so once you've connected your laravel application to uh, your database you can now write a migration for it so here we have uh, what this guy here is basically doing is uh, create a table called users in a database then create these fields number one is the id field it has to be auto increment then you have a name field that has to be string an email field and that has to be unique then a password then a remember uh, token then timestamps which is created at and uh, the timestamps are created at and uh, modified at uh, so um no, this well, if we run this uh, if we run a command on a command line a, a migrations command for this particular table it will create a database for us with these details so let's just quickly see it and um, continue so um, you go to your uh, command line and uh, run your usual PHP artisan uh, make auth so but before i hit enter i want to just show you something that uh, right there in our app oh 
right there in our app um let's just quickly start another command command prompt i'll click ok i'll go to our laravel folder i'll right click i'll hit hold shift and right click then i'll choose um hold shift right click i'll choose open command window here then i'll run php artisan serve hit enter then this starts our server for us so we'll copy this go to our browser paste it go to our browser and uh, paste it hit enter and then uh, we have our laravel blog like we designed it before oh we have a laravel blog up and uh, let me just show you when you hit this route slash login oh when you hit um, slash login you'll notice that there's an error we've not done anything here but when we come back to our command line and uh, run this uh, command hit enter php at is make off hit enter and then wait authentication scaffolding generated successfully if we get back here and hit enter guess what bang laravel has created an entire authentication system for us right inside our app with complete with login register look at the full registration form and then uh, here's the login with forgot password feature with remember me feature with just one command and isn't this amazing so uh, to prevent um, this video from going uh, on uh, forever i'll stop it here and i uh, will continue in the next video tutorial thank you very much see you in the next video tutorial don't forget to post any issues if you have them on the partner.com see you